Hello everyone, this video is a frog and exact tutorial by me Sandy Xie and my partner Kenny Lu. In this video, I'll show how to use frog and exact VP with example coding. First, we will look at frog. As explained in the video below, frog creates a trial process and a parent process. The two processes are the copy of the current process and they will run together in parallel. We can see how to call frog in the main page. So fork return a PIDT. The child process will return zero and the parent process will return its current PID. When fork fail, it will return negative one and we should do air checking using PR and input fork. I wrote a simple program asking the child process to print out its PID and the parent process to print out the current PID. So let's run the program and see what happened. So the parent prints out the current PID and the child prints out zero. To show that the parent PID is the same as the current process PID, we can have an infinite loop inside the parent process, making the parent process wait when we check the PS status. So we have we are gonna bring the program to the background and then use PS to show the current processing status. We will see the a.l process ID is the same as the parent process ID. We will use foreground to bring it back and then queue the program. To show that the two processes running together, I'll make the parent process taking longer than the child process. And when we run the program, before the parent prints first and then the child. But now the child prints first and then the parent because the parent's taking longer than the child to process. When using fork, we will want the child process to run before the parent process. To make sure that, we will have a parent wait for the child to print finish by using the wake function. To use the wake function, you need to include the system slash wake dot h. Now, we don't need the parent process to take longer than the child process to run, but the parent will print after the child. So now let's talk about exact. To see how to use exact, let's bring up the main page. So for exact VP, it takes in a char star and a char star array. The char star is the command and the char star array is the command with its flags. Exact VP returns negative one when it fails. So we need to do error checking using PR and input exact. For my sample program right here, I hot coded LS into my array and then pass the array into exact VP. Let's run to see what will happen. So in the child process, it prints out the file in the directory, which is the same as the ls bash command. So let's try adding flags to our program. I added dash l to the program ls, and now all the information of the files print out like this. It's important to have a note at the end of your array to let exact VP know that's the end of your flags. If you take out the node and we run the program again, it will give you errors like this. We have been using PR to do error checking, but we don't know what exactly PR does. So let's try to put in a random command and then run the program. PR will print out this error message telling you what's wrong with your program. For more about PS and what PS does and how to use PS, we will talk about it in the next video.